a Chinese tourist destination, is planning to hire somebody to portray the mythical monkey king. But there's a catch, as there usually is. This person they're looking to hire will have to hang out in a cave and be fed mm. bananas by tourists. CNN Travel reports. Now, I have some experience being a mascot in a couple of movies, actually, so maybe I should, I should look into this. I also like bananas and find that I'm usually low on potassium, so definitely something to check out. The Chinese legend of the Monkey King is really popular in China, and it's kind of like the Brothers Grimm, you know, the Grimm fairy tales uh, in the Western world. But this Chinese Monkey King story has inspired numerous movies and television spinoffs. And part of the legend involves this Monkey King being imprisoned under a great big mountain known as Wu Ji Shan, only to be freed hundreds of years later by a sacred monk. And so it's no coincidence that this job posting is at the Wu Ji Shan scenic area in northern China. Now, aside from the cave and bananas, so room and board, the job also requires that the candidate don a monkey mask, and they will, of course, get paid $842 a month. Oh, and the mask, full monkey costume, no word on a tail, my guess is yes. End of the day, room, board, $842. If you're a furry, this is, oh, sign me up, baby. Workers at a snack chip factory in Australia have complained that the flaming Hot seasoning used for Doritos and Cheetos products is affecting their health, Sky News reports. The popular hot and spicy seasoning has reportedly caused a number of adverse effects, including sneezing, coughing, eye and skin irritation, and breathing difficulties. The United Workers' Union lodged a complaint with the Workplace Health and Safety Regulator in South Australia after interviewing staff at a factory in Adelaide. The Doritos Flamin' Hot Cheese Supreme Corn Chips are described as having a bold, cheesy taste with full flavor and a full-on tooth-rattling crunch. Both that product and the Cheetos Flamin' Hot Puffs feature a flame icon on the packaging to warn of their heat. PepsiCo, who owns the factory, says they are committed to working with the union to address any further concerns and that staff safety was its top priority. You would say that CEOs are usually pretty important people for companies, right? Well, The Guardian reports that a cryptocurrency fund apparently made up a CEO to get people interested in the fund. A man named Stephen Reese Lewis was introduced as the CEO of a company called Hyperverse in December 2021 with his video message of support from celebrities released on Twitter, of course now X, the following month, including from Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak and actor Chuck Norris. Big names. Hyperverse praised Reese Lewis's strong performance and drive, citing his educational background in the UK and business credentials as the reason for them hiring him on as a CEO. But after its investigation, The Guardian reported that they actually could not find any record of this Reese Lewis person. Now, the belief is that Reese Lewis actually just falsified qualifications in an effort to convince investors to put money into the Hyperverse, which is accused of operating a pyramid. Pyramid scream? What? You're telling me that this crypto company who made up a person was operating a pyramid scheme? Color me mildly shocked. It cost consumers over $1.3 billion in losses. Reese Lewis had just one social media account and it was a Twitter account. And these posts actually stopped roughly about June 2022 when Hyperverse was suspending customer withdrawals. As for the celebrity endorsements, the belief is that they actually were cameo videos with no actual direct knowledge or experience with a Stephen Reese Lewis. That's why I'm not on cameo, you know? You don't know what you're being tricked into. That's the only reason I'm not on cameo actually, because I could definitely be on there for hundreds of, hundreds of dollars. If you want to see all our videos about real news stories that are funny, stupid, or weird, click the subscribe button below. I mean, hey, my cat's gotta eat.